the calm of Copenhagen, a largely gentle pace of life where the locals catch up and the tourists drift by. But don't let appearances fool you because the world's top badminton players are in town and about to shatter the serenity. It's day two of the BWF World Championships and that means the very best in the business. Well, a very warm welcome inside the Royal Arena for day two of these championships. We had some terrific action yesterday. We are hoping and expecting more of the same. Here's our lineup kicking off with an intriguing women's singles. Myanmar's number one, Tet Ha, against the Mexican Olympian, Haramara Gaite. Then a double dose of mixed. First two top 20 pairings, Midori Kawasaito of Japan versus the Indonesian pair Rivaldi and Mentari. Before the ever popular Singaporeans, he and Tan, the reigning Commonwealth Games champions, take on home hopes Turi and Magalud. An all European men's doubles clash next, and it looks a belter, as former European champions Lance Fuss and Seidel take on young French guns, the Popov brothers. More mix to follow, Tabling and Peak of the Netherlands, now in the world's top 10 against the dangerous Indonesians, Ferdinandsia and Wijaja. And then we switch to singles, with Denmark's Lena Christofferson guaranteed huge home support and she'll start big favourite over Salazar of Peru. Plenty more matches after that, six more you can see live. And we also are bringing you the first 12 matches live on court two as well. So your choice, but plenty of action, whether you prefer the singles, the doubles, the mixed, all here on day two of these championships. Here's the women's singles draw, at least the part of it that's relevant to our opening match. Michelle Lee of Canada, the 14th seed, lies in wait for the winner. And it is actually a massive chance for both of these women, Tet Ha and Gaitan, to get themselves into the round of 32. Both of them ranked well outside the world's top 50. Could be a potential game changer. Four courts in operation again today. A reminder that we go through all the way until the finals on Sunday. In an arena that's actually only six years old. Can seat up to 13,000 spectators. Actually only cost 134 million euros, which kind of feels like a bargain these days. Stages all kinds of other sports events and also rock concerts. For court number one, women singles. From Myanmar. Tet Ta -ta -ta. So here's uh, Ted Hartazar. Understandably, there might be a few nerves around for the woman from Myanmar. And her Especially being first up today, it's just past 9 a.m. local time here in Copenhagen. And in the trademark green of Mexico, Adamana Gaitan makes her entrance. No surprise that these two women have never met before. It's ranked uh, 29 spots below her opponent. Day 10. Not sure how relevant that will be in this opening match this morning.
Hands up. We have black or oh, red. Black, the red is for you. Confirmation that it is the first meeting between these two women. You receive. That's right. Have a good match. Ted Hart will start uh, favourite, but as I say, that may not mean a great deal. 24 years of age, currently ranks at 61. That 53 ranking you see was just last April. Won her first international title in Egypt five years ago. She's actually won eight to tournaments at international level. The vast majority of them in Africa, actually. She actually played in the Southeast Asian Games when she was 11 years old, would you believe? And her opponent, uh, Haramana Gaitan of Mexico, who's 27 now. Her high ranking was at the start of this year. Three-time gold medalist at the Central American and Caribbean Games. And she also won uh, a Pan Am Games bronze in 2018, and that's a, a more competitive event. She was at the Olympics in Tokyo a couple of years ago. And kind of a similar record to her opponent. She's won seven international tournaments, including one in Brazil this year, although that was her first since 2019. Arta Zeluznoy of Estonia is the umpire. And Ichi Noniguchi from Japan is his service judge. Got a huge fan base at home, has uh, Ted Hart on uh, social media. And I think she went to the Olympics in Tokyo as well, and that just grew her fan base even further. I'm sure there'll be plenty tuning in back home in uh, Myanmar. Ready to play. Stand by then for the umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Het Thar Tuzar Myanmar. And on my left, Haramara Gaitan, Mexico. Haramara Gaitan to surf, love all, play. So here we go then, first shuttle hitting anger on day two of these championships. And there's an early statement of intent Service over. from One Ted Hart. Loft. The guy tan serve summarily dismissed. This judgment from the Mexican. We saw a lot of drift in the hall yesterday. I don't think it'll be uh, any different this morning. Left to right, particularly as you look on the screen. Sorry, sober. This time, Ted Ha's uh, error of judgment. Well, that looked like it was going out for sure. Yeah, nicely done. 
Just get the feeling one. that uh, Hadam Alagaitan there is in for a lot of running this morning. Only four points played, but it's been all over the court already. Four, one. Touch of good fortune, but she was bossing the rally in any case. Well, a few early cheap points here for Ted Hart. Only been playing for a couple of minutes and already Guy Tan under increasing pressure. Over. Just about the Two. first time that Guyton has got to one of those Ted Hard drop shots and then produced a, an even better one of her own. Over seven three. Just drifted seven, wide, and that's the way the drift four, goes left to seven. right. As you look, anything that starts out even vaguely close to the line is going to end up wide of it exactly as you saw there on that replay service over eight four I told you there's a drift, not quite as much Five, as that to eight. bring that into court. Started out actually beyond the doubles line, didn't it? Well, that's nicely done. Just trying to work our way Six, back into this eight. match, Guy Ten. Ten Han knew she got that all wrong. an excellent comeback 7-3 behind 8-4 behind Mexican on terms now Now 
that one was in clearly so inside the line. Nine all. Perfect illustration of the drift there as you saw that shuttle just uh, curl from outside the line and then land within it. Well, all of a sudden, unforced errors creeping into the Burmese players' game. That was much better, though. Service over. Ten. Double oh. deception, you could call that. And that was the second of them. Too good for Guy Tan. Last point before the mid-game interval. Eleven ten interval. So Tetha has the narrow advantage as they go for the one-minute break. Yes, when they get forced in to the side derecho, he has a good spin when he pegas al when he pegas a la red. Separa la. Y de repente te deja spin, bríncala, bríncala. Se mueve mucho por el aire. También ha fallado mucho. Atenta con su remate recto para controlar. Ajá. O atacarla y presionas un pasito hacia adelante. Ajá. Lo demás es consistencia, juego fácil. ¿Eh? ¿Tú puedes, eh? Uno por uno, échale, vamos. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven turn. Play. Yeah, well played. First time we've seen Dyson really get proactive in that fashion. Set the point up and then charge in for the easy kill. It was an excellent clear to present that opportunity and coach liked it too. Straight at the body. Hand of apology. I don't think uh, she particularly meant that. But it's an effective shot. Actually, she moved into the line of it. I think she misjudged that a bit because it started out it was on a hip, really. Made it more difficult than it had to be in the end. Well, whatever Ted Hart's coach said to her during that interval appears to have paid dividends. 
this one. Four of the five points, sorry, four of the six points they've played since then. And interesting, this, the second part of this game, very similar pattern to the first in the sense that Tethar is in control, but then uh, halfway through the uh, first part of this game, Mexican suddenly found a range and was giving the, the me some problems. Solid lead. 17, 12. Eighteen, twelve. Service over, 13, 18. Service over, 19, 13. So, seven 14, game points game point for Tet Ha after a really competitive opening to this game. She's kind of sprinted away from Guy Tet. Game. Just, what, 13 minutes on court, 21-13. First and it's Tet Hart that strikes first in this women's singles. 13. Ya estás queriendo o puro drop o ganar la red y ella llega y te gana en la parte de atrás. Mejor, tú primero. Cualquiera ella que te deje en la red, nosotros le empujamos primero para ganar la parte de atrás. Ajá. Cuando estabas haciendo así, estabas aguantando tu fondo y le estabas saltando hacia atrás, ella estaba incómoda. Pero el problema, ahí él, no, en la situación fue que quisiste ganar un poco más de red y ella te empezaba a empujar a tu derecha. Algo seguro, si puedes, ¿eh? venga uno por uno, ¿eh? échele, vamos. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Well, Ten Hag, they will want to carry on exactly where she left off in this uh, second game. Because it seemed One like lock. she'd got in, uh, inside Guy Ten's head to a degree. Service over. One all.
That's a superb shot. That really is a top-class backhand. Could not have placed that better. Played a couple of those cross-court backhand clears in the first game that had Guy Tan in trouble. That's why I don't. Service over. Two. All. Three. Two. Over three all. That's nicely judged. Service over. Four all. Showed in spells in that first game that she has got a game and then she has got a few shots. Just hasn't been consistent enough, really. Service over. In this match so far. Five four. Nice deception again. And Ted Ha on that uh, last point. Yeah, well done. Service Concerted over. pressure from Guy Ten. Five. Oh. Service over. Six, Best rallies of the match that service over six all both women playing well at the same time that hasn't happened uh, too often and that's the confirmation of it 25 shots the longest rally of the match so far well oh, beautifully done certainly has Service the over. superior racket Seven, skills of the six. two from what we've seen, Tet Hart. And much the more consistent of the two, especially in that in the latter stages of that first game, where Gaiten rather capitulated, truth to tell. That's much better, though, from the Mexican. Service over. Not enough depth Seven. from oh. Ted Hart. And the guy ten exacting full punishment. Reactions. Eight, seven.
<laughs> yes, made it. Service over. 8 0. Once again, I turn winning the battle of the hairpins there. Ten, eight. Big point this for the Mexican. She can get to the mid-game break with a three-point lead. Feel like she's in good shape to level the match, and indeed she has done that. So 11-8, had a guy ten in front at the one-minute interval. Cuando llegas a tiempo, sí, sí, presiona la, ajá. Pero de repente también puedes variar un poquito con con saltarla por el por lo de la condición, ajá. Se te mueve también, ¿no? Ajá. Lo importante es llegar a tiempo. Ajá. Y si llegas a tiempo, la podemos presionar en la parte de atrás y variar. Sí, puedes darte un tiempito y así tengo que estar así como más chingada. Sí, por, porque poquito llegas abajo Portuan, y ella te gana y ella te empuja rápido. Portuan, ¿Sí? Su mejor llega arriba, vas tú presionarla primero. Pero si no tienes, la... Un poco más alto, sí. Venga, ¿eh? Échale uno por uno. Eleven, eight, play. Service over, nine, eleven. No coach in Tet Hall's corner, so she has to do all the thinking for herself here. Service over, twelve, nine. Service over, 10, 12. 11, 12. Pretty steep, that, from Ted Hart, and causing Guy Tan an issue. Twelve. Well, it's really hard to know which way this match is going to go next. Just when it looked as though Guyton was in good shape to potentially level affairs. We're back on terms now in game two. Just another of those excellent backhands cross court from Ted Hart. Oh, 
Oh, yes. That was absolutely nailed. 15, 12. So far, this is like a mirror image of the first game. Close for the first half of it. Now, Tetha looks to have a genuine spring in the step. Although, that was the commentator's curse to total misjudgment. Oh, well, that's a bad miss. I wonder how important that might be, because she played the point perfectly up to that point. And all the hard work should have been a straightforward kill. Big bonus that for Guy Town. Fifteen. Mm. Oh. And she's probably still thinking about it. Well, that should get it's it out of the system. Excellent shot. Sixteen. Fifteen. I mean, you could argue the serve wasn't deep enough, but even so. Defiantly dispatched. Oh. Service over. 17, it's one of the best points that Guy Tan's played in the match. And Ten Hag just under a little bit of pressure here. Business end of the second game. Doesn't want to be taken to three, obviously. Oh, you can see the frustration. 17, oh. Once again, she won the net battle. Just hit it too hard. That's a magic shot. Not just Tetha that can find those angles. 17. Yeah, placed down the line. That was very precise. And looks like we're going the distance here in this second game. You can see the Olympic rings. That uh, necklace. Tet Hart. Both these women did go to Tokyo. Might have been going wide, you know. Fantastic rally, and it ended with a wonderful shot from Guy Tan, who had to call on all her defensive reserves in that point. And then produce that. Had an absolutely pivotal time, too. But that error gives Tetha Suzar a match point.
Did she make it? I don't think she did. She's going to challenge it. It's a bad miss, though, I believe. Just rushed it. Should have been a fairly straightforward put away. She should have been packing up and walking off the court. I think now it's going to be 20 all. But Hawkeye will check. And obviously she's going to review it. And it hit the line. It hit the line, so she is going to walk off the court. Correction. And that is the end of it. Game. 21-19 in that second game. And Tet Hartazar comes through, not without the odd anxious moment. And Haramana Gaitan certainly contributed to the entertainment. 21-13, But it is the woman from Myanmar who will be into the round of 32. <laughs> Heart in her mouth. I mean, it didn't have to be anywhere near the line, to be honest. But it doesn't matter now. Twenty-one thirteen, twenty-one nineteen, thirty-two minutes, the match time. The Little Mermaid dominating the harbour there, welcoming sailors into Copenhagen. It's originally actually a Viking fishing village established in the 10th century, if you go back far enough, and didn't become the capital until 500 years later. Back inside the arena, one match down. Victory for the uh, Burmese Tet Hartsar, two love. And we move on to the mixed doubles. Midori Kawa and Saito of Japan against Rivaldi and Mentari of Indonesia. Both these pairs are ranked in 